Hey everybody, um, I tried to record three different times and kept getting interrupted. Today I am quilting a Fool's Gold Mystery quilt. Fool's Gold Mystery, I believe, is a free pattern out there. Um, I will find the link to the pattern and put it down below. I helped my mother with this quilt. This is her quilt. I helped her select the colors because she knew when she put on and no this this was years later but when she um decided to do the mystery with her group of sewing friends she was one of the curators of doing the pattern and helping and so i helped her select the uh, colors and this thing just turned out beautiful i will also insert a picture of the quilt i made by this same pattern using completely different uh, colors and it totally changes how this quilt looks. Um, the blues in this remind me of denim. The browns in this, this is a very manly style quilt. Um, the backing is roses and my mom wanted to quilt roses on this and I it had such a masculine feel I didn't feel that the roses would have been the right choice so I talked her into this pattern. So here we have some cowboy boots. I think this quilt is perfect for the cowboy boots. Um, I'm grading this pantograph at a D. Um, part of it is my fault, so I'm not going to give it an F. Uh, this, this is probably the largest, longest pattern I can use on my long arm. I did have to remove my red snapper out of the tube so that I could roll this up and um, have clearance but if you look I, I I stitched this out the first row and of course it's like a partial row and I had to go back and I had to stitch all these because I wasn't finding the line for that and this and this and if you look the continuous line I just skipped over it so it's not really a continuous line. That line joins right there and I skipped over it every time. Because you have stuff on the edges of this quilt, um, stitching this out is not easy. And you have to go back and uh, break your thread and start over. And I'm not liking this pattern and I will probably give it away uh, to one of my fellow quilters. However, it's stitching out really nice on the quilt. You can't really see it. Once I get this done, I will go ahead and show the back view. It'll probably show up a whole lot better. 